electric field electric field strength at a point P is defined as the electric force per unit positive charge placed at that point. That is electric field strength on the charge Q is equal to FQ over Q. Let's consider electric field around a point charge Q. The force at the smaller charge Q is FQ equal to Q Q over 4 pi epsilon r square. By definition, electric field at the point P is equal to force on Q over Q, which is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon r square. Notice that the unit of electric field strength is equal to Newton per coulomb. Look that if Q is positive, there is repulsive force acting on this positive charge Q. Therefore, the electric field strength at point P will be to the right. If Q is negative, we have attractive force on the positive charge Q. Hence, the electric field strength at point P will be to the left. Therefore, electric field lies due to a positive point charge Q will be radially outward from Q. On the other hand, electric field lies due to a negative charge point charge Q is radially inwards towards Q. How to test whether a test charge Q is positive or negative? The hint is that you can put the test charge Q in a region of electric field lines. For example, if the test charge Q is put at this point and the force acting on Q due to the electric field is in the same direction as the electric field lies, then we conclude that the charge Q is positive. However, if we put the test charge Q at this point and the force acting on this charge Q is in the opposite direction as that of the electric field lies, then we conclude that this charge Q is negative. Notice that electric field strength E increases for greater number of electric field lines. That means at this point 1 and this point 2, since near point 1, there are more electric field lines than that near point 2. Therefore, we say electric field strength at 1 is greater than that at 2. Question number 1. Electric field due to a point charge equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon r square. We have Ex equal to 0 0.5 times 10 to the power negative 3 over square of 1 times 9 times 10 to the power 9 which is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power 6 Newton per coulomb. Using similar equations, 
we can find electric field strength at y equal to 1.125 times 10 to the power 6 Newton per coulomb and E at EZ equal to that at X because they are of the same distance from the charge equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power 6 Newton per coulomb Question number 2 Electric field strength at P due to X is equal to Q X over 4 pi epsilon r x p square equal to 2 over square of 2 times 9 times 10 to the power 9 which is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power 9 newton per coulomb and is directed towards the left similarly the electric field strength at P due to Y is equal to QY over 4 pi epsilon R PY square which is equal to 3 over square of 1 time 9 times 10 to the power 9 which is equal to 27 times 10 to the power 9 newtons per coulomb Again, it is direct towards the right. Therefore, the resultant electric field strength at P is the sum of these two values, which is equal to 31.5 times 10 to the power 9 Newton per coulomb, direct towards the right. Question number 3. Let the position between x, y for zero electric field strength be P with Px equal to A and Py equal to B. Electric field strength at P due to x is to the right and that due to y is towards the left. E P X equal to Q X over four pi epsilon square of A while E P Y equal to Q Y over four pi epsilon square of B. Since we have zero electric field strength at point P, therefore EPX must be equal to EPY in magnitude. Therefore, QX over A square equal to QY over B square, implying that B square over A square equal to QY over QX, which is equal to 3 over 2. Therefore, B over A equal to square root 3 over 2. Also, we have A plus B equal to 1 meter. Question number 4. For figure number 1, the electric field strength at the center O due to charge 1, E1, and due to charge 2, E2, are of equal magnitude and different directions. Therefore, they cancel each other. Similarly, the electric field strength at the center O due to the first charge, E3, and that due to the fourth charge, E4, are of the same magnitude again, but with opposite directions. Therefore, they cancel each other's two. Hence, the electric field strength at the center O in this figure 
is equal to zero. In figure two, the electric field strength due to all these four charges one, two, three, four at the center O are equal in magnitude with E1 equal to E2 equal to E3 equal to E4 which is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon R square and the direction of the electric field strength at O due to these four charges are E1 E2 E3 and E4 by adding all these four vectors we have the resultant electric field strength at point O is equal to 4 E1 cosine 45 degree by substituting R equal to root 2 over 2a we can find the result of E lot can you find it yourself? question number 5 there are three forces acting on the charged metal sphere. The first one is the tension on the string. The second one is the weight of the ball. And the last one, the electric force acting on the charge Q by FQ equal to QE. From the diagram, we see that the electric force acting on the charge Q must be towards the right since electric field strength and force on the charge are on the same directions therefore we can conclude that Q is positively charged therefore the side on the charge the ball is positive since the ball is in equilibrium state, by resolving vertical components of tension and horizontal components of tension, we know that T cosine 30 degree equal to weight mg and T psi 30 degree equal to electrostatic force which is equal to QE. Combining these two equations, we have tangent 30 degree equal to QE over mg. Hence, Q can be found from this formula.